Good evening, everyone. We welcome all of you on behalf of Friday Waters, an initiative of the W for W Foundation. The idea of Friday Waters is to make Fridays fun filled and yet add fruitful activities for the future generation. The focus of Water Arts is on bringing the artists who have done or are, are doing art, music, on water matters into this session to discuss the making of the artwork and the issues around the subject covered. Besides bringing interest in water conversation, this will also increase the outreach of the art and the music in the water networks and in the society at large. Because time immemorial, we have actually seen that art, music, activism, and all these kind of soft ways have actually influenced the society much more than science and technology. And this is the very purpose that we uh, were very keen to understand how art forms can bring a change in the way we look at water matters. For today's session of Water Arts, uh, we have Shiv Shankar Roy, an architect come artist from Kolkata, and we are talking about the digital painting. Today we are going to start the session with Shiv Shankar Roy, an architect come artist from Kolkata, and we are talking about digital painting as Mansi was mentioning about it. So just to brief about uh, Shiv Shankar Roy, he is a passionate artist and an architect. He's graduated with a degree in architecture from IIT Kharagpur and has an MSc degree in city design from the London School of Economics. Shiv has been, uh, got, he's got 15 years of experience in architecture, interior design and artwork. So welcome Shiv for this session on Wednesday, uh, Friday Waters on Water Arts. And we're glad to actually see some artwork from your end but to start the conversation ahead I would actually uh, ask you a few questions and then we can proceed further with your presentation sure. so just to know a little bit more about your journey I want yes. to be uh, like we were just curious to know that did you start your journey first as an artist or uh, and then you took up architecture or was it the other way around thank you no, actually, uh, you know, uh, uh, I am a self-taught artist, you know, I never learned uh, art from any teacher uh, in my beginning of my uh, class days, right, school days. Uh, that is very uh, unnatural in, uh, in West Bengal because whoever has some flair of artistic nature, they used to go to uh, the uh, art academy and all. But for me, that did not happen. I, I was born in Odisha, but uh, then I, I came to uh, Kolkata at the age of 10. Uh, my family, you know, my father, they, they hail from Shantini Ketan, which is the kind of epicenter of art and culture in West Bengal, right? Uh, the very famous yes. for uh, Rabindranath Tagore. So they found it scandalous that I uh, forget about art and culture. I don't know how to speak in Bengali. So they... <laughs> they actually sent me to Bengal just to learn very good Bengali. And uh, okay. then, uh, you know, life goes on. I, I started loving the, uh, you know, art and everything. I, I was an extremely shy guy in, in, at the beginning because um, of the language problem. I could not speak uh, Bengali, but I was in a Bengali medium school. So then I silently, you know, since I do not have a lot of friends and, uh, uh, and, uh, 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 kind of accomplished. So I started, you know, engage myself to something and I started drawing myself. And uh, thus, you know, I never heard of architecture after, I never heard of IIT up to class nine or 10. I mean, IIT is a big place in India, but somehow I missed that. So uh, initially, you know, I did not know anything about uh, architecture. So I was hell bent to go to an art college. So my father uh, told me that you know, uh, if you are in art college, uh, you, just because you are playing cricket, you cannot be a tendulkar, right? So try to have a middle path. And uh, that middle path happened to be the architecture, which I loved. Uh, and I, I really love what I do. And simultaneously, you know, I, I'm, uh, I, I, I kind of try to improve my artistic things. Till today, till yesterday, I was taking an online course, how to sketch. So uh, it's a it's a evolving process, you know. It's still going on. I am in a uh, man in uh, I mean uh, the work in progress kind of artist. I still learn. Uh, I I want to learn more, and that is something you know which gives me a lot of peace and uh, the joy in doing art. And uh, just to concluding remark that uh, in today, 
if you want to be an architect it's not necessary that you have to be an artist it used to be 90s or before that that architects used to be good artist but i have seen some very very famous architect nowadays uh, they don't need artistic skill because the computer can help you because your uh, design is in mind not in hand so uh, in that kind of thing you know i am kind of a rarity nowadays uh, than uh, architect who is uh, you know giving lot of time in uh, in drawings and sketching so uh, uh, but uh, that how you know i enjoy my work thank you very you hear me actually and i can see that uh, a lot of uh, people from kolkata actually are inclined more towards art and right. artist like from the childhood right so, yeah so i i do understand your journey yeah, in that sense that yes mein bol nahi sakte obviously tumhara to wifi nahi hai abhi tak hai sorry you've seen a lot of artistic uh, people around you and that itself has influenced your artistic nature of like you know observing things right. and it's very interesting that you actually took up architecture uh, after like experiencing art through like through your childhood so i i just wanted to know like so in particularly like was there anything specific about photography and your paintings that uh, that interest you to take that up more and not uh, like more, uh, the other form, forms of art like you know music or anything else so was there a family uh, backup or was there a specific interest about photography uh actually you know uh, i i lo- i love to learn anything new it's not only uh, music it's not only uh, photography uh, you will be uh, very surprised to know that i i founded my company at the age of 37 which is quite uh quite uh, late you know in indian context right and then i decided that in each year i learn something new something every year you know from 2017 i vow to myself that every year i learn something new so i started with photography in 1917 first time i touched a dslr before that i did i never touched touched a dslr you know so let alone using this so 2017 i learned uh, uh photography uh, i enjoyed it uh, and uh, mostly i learned online then 2018 i i try to improve uh, try to learn digital uh, sketch so what uh, the examples uh, you'll see on the on the presentations most of the things i learned in 2018 and 2019 believe it or not i i learned driving okay so every year and uh, my next goal is to learn swimming because i don't know how to swim so every year i i want to learn something new uh, and yeah. there are long list so i think there is no ending of learning and every time the learning and i i love music also you know i used to uh, beat drums in my hostel days but i could not cultivate it so it is it my pipeline so in one year probably i took up uh, beating drums and all so uh, this is how i i want to enjoy rest of my life that till the death you know i want to i learn something uh, like i said uh, that even yesterday i was uh, learning um, sketching online right so the that is how that what gives me some uh, kind of joy and uh, you know that is my passion it's not only be, being uh, perfect in something but uh, the the journey to learn something new you know which uh, gives me a lot of pleasures i i i i love kolkata uh, because uh, kolkata at certain part has a kind of uh, retained that colonial flavor which kolkata is all about kolkata is a very modern city right in british thrived it is it's not a very old city so it's the history of kolkata is the colonial history so i like this part of kolkata and when in 90s i came to kolkata uh, what thing you know it really enchanted me that in every home you know the child either they are learning tabla or they are learning uh, paintings or swimming that culture has somehow faded nowadays you know because uh, we are in a global village right now you know everything is looking same uh, which i do not like but in 90s it's quite fascinating for me to come to kolkata because everybody is learning something 
so the in that way you you are right that calcutta has a certain influence on me to learn something new every time and i'll keep on doing that in rest of my life it's a very interesting journey actually i will request mansi to actually take the conversation ahead with you and thank thank you yeah thanks mega thank you so much um yeah i think it's a very important to understand because we both have architecture and you are also bringing the culture part here that how bongs uh, some way or the other um, cling on to some kind of art forms and all probably also a reason why i'm so convinced that it is a strong tool to bring a change in the society you know even if you look at any of the uh, movements and campaigns art has has been a backbone of it you know whether it is freedom struggle whether it is uh, you know if, because it's a medium of expression so uh, just uh, to uh, take the conversation further with your work because uh, we we are also very keen to see your work and uh, for all of you to understand that i am sitting in a remote area in case i drop out megha will take it up further i have a very very uh, scarce internet connection so um, shiv uh, we would like to know that you are using different art forms so we are going to see right. a glimpse of it and maybe right. take through uh, um, each uh, one of them and understand when did you do it how did you do it what inspired you and then towards right. the end we will talk about how to use the art form to Absolutely. change bring Absolutely. a change in the society okay Absolutely. so over to you okay okay so uh, when manshi ji told me that there will be some discussions about art and photography which is theming around water you know i was very excited because everybody you know not only me i think uh, everybody likes water you know consciously or unconsciously right so there is a very popular question to everyone uh, you know in the lifetime here that what you love uh, the mountain or sea so some people directly say sea and some people say mountain even in mountain consist of lot of, of fountains and everything right so without water you know the water evokes the emotions for artist not only the painting or but music and everything so i am not an exception because of, you know uh, i'll start with this painting you know i told you that uh, i started digital painting it's not a very good painting but you know why i am keeping this painting as the first but it is the very first digital painting you know i learned uh, it's based on water right <laughs> it's, a, it's it's it's, a, it's there is a music in it you know somebody some ghostly person is there and i like the reflection if you if you see a lot of my photographs you will see reflection is a I, i don't know i i don't know because probably there is a subconscious mind which like the symmetry but i really like the reflections in the water and so this is the very fast you know digital drawing uh, when as it's a tedious process because you, you are hooked to a computer screen you are trying to understand what brush they are using it's a it's a different process of painting what you are the sketching is same in in uh, paper medium and in ipad the sketching is same you take the pencil and sketch it but the painting process on the ipad or digital medium is completely different from uh, paper to uh, digit so there is a learning graph so the very first painting you know uh, this is coincidence uh, that uh, i took i took a very bizarre uh, 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 painting a ghost is you know a piggy backing a uh, not piggy backing you know by the lap a uh, 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 kind of rabbit who is <laughs> is putting up flute flute and with uh, and there is a beautiful reflection is a water is not very healthy right you know or uh, where it's kind of uh, that's that's quite evident huh so probably the <laughs> ghost the ghost is also worried what's happening to the water in the <laughs> planet <laughs> right 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 so this is this is this uh, painting you know can you can assign you know uh, that this is this uh, uh, uh painting is talking about the hope right that uh, you know we have a invisible person this is not a ghost this is a invisible person that we we have a hope i i do it completely unconsciously but i think you know i love water i love reflection that's why i want to this okay this is my signature style you know this is a what uh, this is first i, I saw huh? this was the first sketch i saw of yours <laughs> and this is very uh, yeah, very, yeah. very very impressive huh? i i i i love uh, you know the sketching for my clients 
so uh, you know i am doing lot of interior designing and uh, in interior design i try to personalize the thing i think interior designing is not all about furniture and this or uh, let's what laminates you know people have uh, come down to that level that they think interior designing is all about selecting color and all this but not that so interior is the your home is uh, the kind of uh, personalized it, it it evokes your personality right so this client you know who is based in um, uh, bangalore i asked her that uh, what things you know what things you like to see every day so she told me that you know i i i miss zurich i was there for 3 years i love the city and i miss that so i thought okay let's put a, a painting of a sketching of zurich and and eventually there is water right and any any city um, uh, at the shore of water looks beautiful i mean calcutta is not exception london is also there and zurich is also there right so this is the, see the i mean the water you know if you if you see the span over here the water is creating a negative space so whenever we we artists uh, sketch something we have to balance between positive and negative space you know uh, you'll see most of the artists they use the balance of positive and negative space and water you know give a ample opportunity to give that a negative space have you have you seen that i have detailed out so much in this buildings but i have not touched anything in the water because this is the kind of juxtapositions of this you know there's a balance of positive and negative space and in reality also in reality i mean not only in a sketching in reality also the lakes or these uh, rivers these uh, seas these are giving a negative or empty space a very required empty space in the cityscape um, just like a park okay you know park if there is a park some builders will build something but generally you know big rivers you cannot build very very uh, strong until and unless there are huge motive you cannot build apart from bridges right so uh, the this rivers gives you a kind of span of negative spaces that's why it looks beautiful from this side this move it almost forward. feels like you know you almost feels like you build the whole city inside a room <laughs> uh, that is the advantage because uh, different artists you know they express themselves in a different way somebody is uh, singing a raga probably uh, they evoke a different emotions we we create emotions through our hand and mind right we we cannot speak well so we we put everything on the sketch book whenever we are happy we sketch when you are we are sad we sketch so <laughs> that is the artistic expressions to bring out something okay and uh, the beautiful thing about being an artist that is tangible right you know you can see it uh, the music you will feel it right you can listen to it but 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 artistic uh, uh, freedom uh, if you are using your artistic uh, uh, caliber so you can see the product that is the beauty of artistic and like the one uh, picture says 100 words or 1000 words so if there are so much things i talked about through this right the, the kind of there's a church there's a uh, uh, lazy you know boats uh, there are uh, some uh, parking you know I, you can uh, figure out this is a kind of holiday or something like that right if you if you are uh, seeing in detail let's forward i can talk on and on on this uh, because this is one of my favorite uh, thing again Dauki rivers, you know, this is in uh, Meghalaya, right? So yes, uh, I was about to say, ah, huh, somewhere in northeast India. Ah, you are very Meghalaya. close to it. You are you are extremely close to it. I am very close, five hundred kilometers now. And the beauty is that that the water is so so clear that uh, this uh, shadow create an illusions that you know that uh, as if you are hovering on the air, right? so this this thing you know the make me uh, uh, really you know when i first saw it i could not believe my eyes that you know through the lens that it is uh, really looking is hovering this this man, uh, this boat is as if it's fine so this is a beautiful uh, place you know i mean uh, is as a photographer you all you need to be at the right place at the right time all you need to i mean in our language we call it the frame is ready you don't have to do anything you have to just click it right because nature has uh, make your complete arrangement you know light setting nothing is there you have to just see it enjoy it and click it and uh, is uh, this is there 
So uh, this is a beautiful place. I'll suggest you to, have you visited this place, Kauki River? This is, oh, this is Lakshadev, you know, uh, mini coin. So this is, a, I am seeing from, a, I mean, how many varieties of water you can see, right? Uh, the, yes. the, the color, I, I do not edit a lot, okay? Only I increase the saturations and brightness or something like that. I, I don't over edit anything. So these colors are very close, okay? So this color, this is a, a, a completely kind of greenish color and this is turquoise, right? See how can, how many emotions you can get uh, through the colors of, of, of this uh, water. And that's why, that's why, you know, water is very, very important in our life, uh, especially artist's life, you know, when I was in a, a clock tower and when I saw this, again, you know, I'm, I'm, I was completely mesmerized. If by your this slides color. are not moving, huh? I, if... Is it? Now it is moving. I can see Lakshwadeep. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is, I'm, I'm just stuck over here. Yes. Okay. I'm on the Lakshwadeep. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right. So this is yes. see the varieties of water you know I have seen and I want to see more obviously this is just the beginning. So if, if, if when you are traveling the world or India, only by the color you know color of texture of water there will be a theme, theme right. So these two colors are completely different. This is the state where I was born you know Odisha Chilka right. So uh, there, this is called, if, if I'm not wrong, this is called a break, breakfast place or something like that. You know, it's, it's in Ramba and uh, how beautiful it is. You know, this is a vast chilka and inside that there is a beautiful structure. And in the evening light, it's creating magic. Obviously the uh, photography, uh, though I am a reasonably good uh, photographer, but I, I can say, that uh, no camera will catch up this beauty, you know, when we are approaching this structure and uh, it's in the evening, it's not in the morning, it's in the evening. So uh, uh, this is again a different emotions altogether. So in three different or four different slides, we have seen four different kind of waters, right? And there are okay. also, also different types of water, by the way. One was river, you have the wetland here, then you uh, had the uh, seafront. Uh, <laughs> so I'm also looking at the type of water changing, which also matters yes, yes. when we talk about the color of the water. I love water, you know, I love water because uh, you'll see, you know, it's not, not just because I'm in this uh, uh, seminar, it's, it's, if you see my photography, there's uh, almost 50% of them based on water. Unconsciously, yes. it's not that consciously. Unconsciously, I only when you told that there's a uh, something you know uh, feature. And it water. is our task to tap artists like you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even every artist, you know. Uh, I mean, you see that water creates such a beautiful uh, profiles, right? And uh, so obviously, if you if you encourage uh, people like you, encourage you know budding artists like me, then probably uh, people will uh, be more careful about how they are treating water. So that is very important, you know, that's, uh, I, I, yes. I, it's, it's not a coincidence that every uh, start of civilization will start with a myth, with a flood, right? You know, in Bible, yes. Mesopotamia, in, in Harappa, and Masayan, everything. That is not a coincidence. Probably we have suffered 10,000 BC, that right? we have suffered a lot with the flood. And it's our and duty yes. that, you know, we should not and they have depicted water huh? in every uh, every civilization when we are looking reading history we find that uh, water has been very uh, well uh, depicted and you know historically very well uh, written right from indus uh, for us and even when we talk about as you rightly mentioned mesopotamia or sumerian any right. any civilization water has been fundamental and importantly in their own historic conservation artifacts you you do find it's mentioned very well huh? absolutely absolutely and this is, is this not is east to... kolkata wetland no 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 this is again chilka this is again chilka okay. Okay. so uh, you you imagine that you are in a boat uh, having some beautiful uh, very tasty food and and uh, you know time uh, is kind of flowing with this beautiful scene in front of you. Though I did not like the very noisy uh, motored 
uh, your boat over here is extremely noisy. I did not like that. Apart from that, this is kind of a heaven, right? You know, so uh, obviously, you know, it gives a lot of serenity and uh, taking a cue from your discussion that uh, this flirts, you know, in different myths is not coincidence. So, I mean, to best of my knowledge, these societies are not very well connected and everybody is starting with a flirt. That means that we have to be careful about water, right? Not only water, we have to care about everything every union where and all i i see a lot of uh, you know prime time channels they engage in so many uh, topics but sadly nobody has time to discuss about the thing which is a shame that out of 100 most polluted cities 61 are in india and delhi and kolkata are in the prime of them so we have to be very careful about that you know, apart from artists Ironically, when technicians, scientists, and most of uh, people who are looking at water, they look at uh, uh, water more for human appropriation. And that right. is why it becomes very important that we have artists, poets, musicians who are really not looking at the only human appropriation right. side of it, but the, the, but the soft side of it. There is life in water. There is uh, sound in water. There is memory in water. All these things are, are only promoted and told by artists huh, usually and that's why they become an integral part of um, conveying the message of water arts right. i'm telling you a very sad story i mean recently i lost my father in march right so we oh. went to a kind of kata we call it kata ganga in uh, for asthi ah. surgeon that was so dirty that i felt i was completely in trauma and i i told no i i'm not going to give my the asti of my father to this dirty uh, thing. So I went to all these. Absolutely. This, uh, I mean, I can feel that with you. Huh? So I felt so bad. You know, we are treating um, our, um, I mean, this water, you know, we call it uh, the other name of water is life. And we are treating water so badly. So that, uh, the, uh, the other end, that is the sad story. Again, uh, this is uh, recently I, I visited uh, Guru Damba Lake. And, Many people uh, say that uh, you need oxygen cylinder or something like the guides. I don't know. I mean, the guides uh, generally discourage you to go to uh, Gurudamba Lake. They say that you have kind of uh, problem with oxygen levels and all. I don't know. I, I'm going. I never felt anything. Okay. I roam around. I spend a lot of time because my guide, my driver told me that uh, you should not stay more than half an hour. I ended up spending almost two hours. And I was we're so lucky. I very recently I visited this, and uh, the uh, the uh, overcast was there. With the, the weather was extremely cloudy, but I'm so lucky that when I went there, it was completely sunny. You know, I got I, I just this place is completely you know uh, humanless. I know only one person is there because you have to get down and you know take a uh, L turn, then you will get to this place. You, this is not the the popular uh, Guru Dambar uh, pictures you will see. This is a Bit are you done? So, so when I reached there, nobody was there. So the whole, the nature, you know, the ice, the water in front of me, I was, I was feeling so fresh. You know, forget about having breath, uh, breathing troubles. I was feeling so fresh. I don't know whether I'm immune to this uh, pollution, staying in a city or not. I did not feel anything bad over there. And this uh, picture, you know, it's, it's, it's a it's one of my very favorite pictures. Again, I told you that you know I, I love reflection. You see that even yes, if yes, I am seeing that you have a you have a you know knack for getting the reflection captured very yeah. well, huh? Right. This reflection is so steady that even if you invert this picture, you know, it will it will look it will not look like obviously there are a lot of rocks over there. If you cut it from here, you know, from here. And if you invert this, it will look like uh, that. There's a pretty popular trick, you know, when you uh, take the Taj Mahal picture with the reflection and you invert it. In, in your our in younger age, we used to do this kind of uh, uh, trick, right? Yes, invert, absolutely. You know, the reflection will come to the upward, and the original Taj Mahal will go uh, to down. Uh, so anyway, that is the beauty of water, right? And uh, I think we, we loved it from the childhood. Again, this is um, Kajiranga, you know, Kajiranga never disappointed me. I have a very funny story about Kajiranga. 
that uh, I went there in November 2018, most probably. I loved it. I saw tigers over there. So I have seen people from Kajiranga, they never saw tiger over there. It's, it's fairly rare, you know, to, uh, to uh, spot a tiger. So I was so enthralled that, you know, in after four months, I went back there again, not for tigers, you know. I mean, when you are going for a wildlife, never have this overreaching responsibility that you have to watch a tiger. Then you'll be disappointed if you cannot. Even 90% chance you cannot, 90, 95% chance. Okay, so you enjoy the beauty of this place. You know, even without tigers, uh, Kajiranga is beautiful. You know, this, this picture, you know, they, these colors are almost original color. Almost when we are returning from this place, I was enchanted. This is a, a cropped picture, okay? So uh, I was enchanted by this color and this uh, the beauty of this color. And I don't know why this reflection is a bit crazy because we are not getting this reflection in the upper part, but you are get, getting a reflection. So there must be a science over there. And uh, really, you know, I love this place, you know. Have you seen this? Uh, because uh, you, you see that in our uh, digital painting, they, we, we paint in layers, in Photoshop, in... In, we yes. paint in layers. This is we call it the layers of uh, nature. Have you seen the nature. different layers? There's a one layer over here, one layer over here, one layer over there, one layer over here. So when you are painting this, you'll put five, six layers, and you'll work with the layers. So I was talking to uh, Deboshmita was there with me. That see, you know, we we are nowadays working with layers, and nature has already created the layers for us. Beautiful place, beautiful. I will suggest everyone to visit it. This is an, another painting. I don't know. I mean, uh, in digital uh, thing, you know, I like this kind of fantasy, you know, robotic. I'm still, still there is a child inside me. So uh, this is again the water, you know, boatman. This is a boatman is, uh, a, our future is uh, very much AI driven, right? Artificial intelligence. I mean, believe it or not, there is a, you should check it out. There is a uh, app called uh, uh, Mid Journey and uh, Dali. If you prompt something, they are sketching for you. Okay. So, okay. Uh, interesting. I, yeah. I have not heard of it. So, I will have to look at this now. <laughs> life will be completely changed. You prompt it that there is a robot and a man in a boat. You will probably you know, paint better than this. Okay. Now, uh, I have a mixed feeling about this, right? Uh, why I have a mixed feeling? It will help me in my uh, interior design because I can show many, many options to my clients. I do not have yes. to wait for three days to make a bedroom uh, 3D. I, I get it in 10 seconds. Uh, though it's in a very uh, early days, but it will be, uh, it will be, uh, there, uh, there's a Google version of it, Imagine, not Imagine, Ima, A, I, M, A, J, N, Imagine. So you prompt it something they will create beautiful picture you must uh, you know uh, google it uh, i will i will i'll say it is fascinating world will be fascinating so even in 2020 you know at the time of pandemic you know i was uh, sitting in the home i was i was thinking what will be the future that time this ai based uh, was not there and uh, this is the this is a, again a kind of online coach, you know, i draw, uh, draw online uh, thing so uh, it's, it's fascinating that, you know, the future, you know, this is the future which will take away all of our, uh, the machine will take away all of our joy. So this is the kind of hidden message in this. And uh, I tried to, you know, try my hand uh, in digital painting again at that time. Manshiji, you have seen this uh, uh, picture before, right? Again, water, water, you know, I Benaras is my favorite uh, city. So uh, again, you, you, I like the kind of the noise. The, I, I, I'm never found, uh, you know, when I'm never tired of Benaras Ghats. I, I, I went there uh, four times. I never, uh, I always, you know, I take a sketch pen, uh, the rotating uh, drafting pen, and I, I draw something. So the, you have seen this, right? Are you again? still using rotating? I'm quite curious now. <laughs> I have, I have, you know, I, I, in that table, you know, <laughs> Yeah, have because a, it's, it's been ages a, now that I have used it. I have a, you know, a, a drawing board over there. So I still draw. Nice, nice. And I told you that, you know, when you are sketching on iPad and uh, in, on board, it's almost same. 
same thing you know it's you have to the stroke is same so again you know uh, this this kind of thing you know this is a completely different uh, a, a, a environment altogether right lot of things i as i told in the seminar when i met you first time that you can see everything uh, from uh, the born to death the circle of life on yes, the is in your exhibition all the whole cycle was there huh? right right and and the cycle is happening in front of water right without water can you think this this thing i mean even in asterix you know they have uh, used this benares ghat in one of the asterix you know Absolutely. when asterix is the magic it's in carpet. the foreground yeah. actually it's not even at the background na it's in the foreground right right, right. this is such i mean i i i was first uh, introduced to benares through asterix through through the german writers you know the magic carpet they are coming to and everybody there is a drop uh, the, there is and uh, no rain at that time then cacophonics uh, sang something and then the rain in fall came that is the story and in benares right i mean something very similar to benares and these ghats are beautiful and when you reach first time over there you will see that this is any other congested city and congested thing right and gradually you will you will unfold the beauty of these ghats you know i i never get tired of this i can go again and again i have requested joy sensor sir let's write a book a very easy book joy sensor that is very difficult book okay so very easy book very easy reading book so uh, sir told us sir is a very busy person she told us she after puja will sit down and will uh, take it forward and now i have uh, you know kind of i have improved my uh, skill in painting so i maybe i am a more uh, confident person in sketching this sketches you have seen right you know this is a different color yes. and this is a unfinished kind of thing you know uh, 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 sanjeev sanal ji you know sir uh, he like this kind of yes. unfinished so i showed him he, he actually told me to draw durga for him so i thought i should learn more painting i painted recently you have seen in facebook so i showed him he, he liked it but he said shiv you, you have a style of unfinished way i like that more okay this is that is your style so yeah i i I'll, i'll i'll try both you know the realistic style and this kind of unfinished this is this is a very uh, very uh, fast you know uh, stroke if you see very fast if i stroke. may ask how much time did it take <laughs> i'm extremely fast artist you know i'm extremely fast artist so, i think the uh, new gen artist ha huh? new gen artist Uh, no, I mean this is the style. You know, I'm practicing for twenty years, right? This sketching. Once uh, in my um, uh, in my um, uh, class, you know, uh, I told uh, that sir told me to draw something, and I I told sir that I'm redoing it. And the previous day, I showed showed him a different uh, picture. He could not believe it, and he showed, "Are you sure that you are redoing it, or you are doing the same thing you are doing yesterday?" I said, "No, this is a redone." You you are this first. Go and to your hostel and bring that old picture. So when I came up with two pictures, he could not believe that I finished it in one day. So that is I am extremely fast in sketching. If you I I'll draw. I like to draw something in front of you in one seminar. Okay, in this oh, kind of that would be great. Up, so you have okay. now you have an open invitation from me for December. Get prepared to come to Hyderabad for our uh, mini workshop absolutely. when we are doing our Wednesdays for water workshop. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Um, when I'm engrossed in uh, sketch, I forget to eat, drink anything. Okay, I just you know I don't know some interesting. Uh, you will conduct workshop for our uh, water experts. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I love to. You know, I love. I love. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying this uh, very much. Okay, so this is the you know stroke, stroke, and stroke, and something you know. At one moment, you you know you have to stop over here because I can spend another two hours on this, right? Uh, yes. this is uh, this this is uh, uh, i'm i'm coming to another uh, okay the another sketch which is not here but anyway i'm showing you another sketch so we I, i was just curious in the previous sketch which you were showing what what kind of colors did you use i mean uh, this is yeah. again a digital painting you know this is okay. again a digital painting yes uh, i had seen the earlier one also ha huh? right Uh, this is this is our different okay in digital painting yes. what is the advantage that that you can create different hues and uh, different color palette in no time right 
you can there is only one because i told you na this uh, this painting process is completely different right so this is much more meticulous compared to the previous one this is much more meticulous you know you took more time to this so there is a very kind of and um, one uh, particular uh, uh, trick i like to give to all the audience that whenever you are seeing a painting you know maintain some distance okay painting are not supposed to seen from very near or very far okay then if you are seeing it from very near you every printing will be pixelated right you know should, the, should the artist guide the guide the or uh, viewers how uh, the painting or the artwork should be seen because i think i i i, I can relate what you are saying because uh, when we go to museums or when we go to see the art exhibitions we are not really sure how far we should be standing and looking uh, to really appreciate the artwork do you think that artist can really guide uh, the visitors to see in certain manner is this possible yeah yeah i mean it's uh, uh, there is a kind of thumb rule that you know at least for city scape you will maintain at least 4 feet at least okay 4 feet uh, you should not watch any uh, you know any scale sketches yes, that's or a thumb any... rule you're saying the thumb rule yeah, kind of thumb rule but for portrait maybe they have a different i do not do lot of portrait i do some very casual portrait but uh, not portrait is not my forte but at least for this kind of you know uh, my my sketches when taken print out it's quite spanning uh, quite long so uh, more maybe around 4 feet to 6 feet is good okay then you will understand the beauty okay so uh, all the sketches if you if you see this sketch you know right now the distance between my monitor and me is not even 1 uh, feet okay so the, there is lot of rawness of the of the see uh, the sketch is all about illusions also right you know i am if you i am if you are just uh, zooming in and if you see the raw uh, yes. raw um, strokes it will not look good at a certain but distance but is it up to the artist what details you would like to uh, portray and what details you would like uh, the uh, the the uh, onlookers to look at it or uh, how do you decide yeah. that i mean i would yeah, like yeah. to go back to the earlier one which was uh, the one how uh, you were talking about an unfinished artwork why it is important right i i I'll go back to that but i like to show this examples right this is the thing yes, i got this is your, your latest ha huh? i saw that it is <laughs> much more detailed right so yes. this is a completely different styles completely i was very very you know uh, enjoyed this process it took me 25 hours so this is a complete you if you zoom in and you, you see there are a lot of details and at one point i'm exhausted i cannot do any more because i have some eye yes. problem right now so it can be even more detailed okay i mean when i was doing this kind of you know uh, stripes you know i i ran out of um, energy because after 25 hours i was exhausted and whereas uh, for a detailed uh, sketch black and white sketch what you have seen i take generally let's say 3 to 3.5 hours so every day i i i draw out 1.5 hours in one setting sometimes i complete it in one day and it took me almost 7 days one uh, aspect that i was learning and then i was sketching it i was imitating so that's why you know i have to listen to everything i have to look at i have to stop the video i have to again go back so that's why it took so much time but i learned a lot of things so these kind of sketches you know you can see from the uh, from the uh, not from a very far distance because there are lot of detailing there are details see, there uh-huh. i mean you can if you, if you zoom in na you will see these are burger uh, sorry these are sausages these are carrots you can understand that okay at a certain point but compared to this i mean if you are seeing this pro, this one this one there are lot of casual strokes over there right i mean this is yes. looking like umbrella from the distance but when you are seeing it from near you will not understand this is a umbrella when you are going bit distant then you will understand this is the this is the canvas right 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 so that that is the thing you know different uh, the different uh, art from some different uh, kind of you know normative expectations that you will see from a certain distance but any again this is one of my favorite uh, sketch because not only because uh, i sketched it i i like benares you know somehow 
I like Benares. Yeah, I don't you have a lot of uh, sketching and pictures, huh? Photographs of Benares right, right. in lot, your work. Lot, huh? lot of, lot of. Is there know? is there any special relation you have uh, you hold with Benares? Uh, would you like to share that I, with no, us? No, no, I, I just loved it. I love Manish ji. I like, just loved it. I don't know why I connect to it. Uh, I I I can you know sit down over there for hours and uh, then uh, you know I can just you know. notice so many things for an artist na you have to notice so many things that you know which is what is going on and the, the this is another place in the rishikola it's a completely different yeah, could place. you go back to the previous uh, slide because i have a question on that huh yeah yeah sure yeah sure. because here you were talking about this unfinished uh, ness you know so i'm very curious uh, because uh, every artwork actually looks like an unfinished but when an ar artist says that i am just uh, trying to understand uh, does it uh, really mean that people like us who are looking at your artwork we we are also left to imagination how this you know this can be finished for example just try to understand would it give right. us some more room for imagination uh, like uh, uh, i don't know whether it is intended or whether it is it's not imagination i am telling you okay uh, the modern art got popular when camera was invented you know before camera uh, you know people used to do realistic picture i can show you yes. uh, uh, the uh, can you bring me that art book i have a art book okay leonardo da vinci this uh, all these people you know used to do very realistic picture they did not draw something you know uh, um, uh, like cubism of, of uh, picasso right so when camera was there art art book the third book i'm just coming sure this is a very interesting question okay, i'm quite uh, curious with this uh, i i'll emotion, give you the answer huh? okay. if you see this book okay in the in the first part you will see lot of realistic picture this this is yes. almost like a photograph and if you go beyond it in the last this pictures looking so unfinished or a very easy to draw right uh, i mean and then you go you... further it even goes to the abstraction level you know right right so many people ask this question that i can draw better than picasso but never i have not seen anyone that you know somebody is saying i can draw as good as leonardo da vinci because it's a very difficult picture right or for michael angelo angelo right yes. so what is the what is the logic you now when camera was invented so everybody was taking pictures realistic picture just now just the thing oh, that yes sir, yes, yes now i can relate ha huh? so we have this definitive form which right, we can relate right, to right, right right so when camera was invented then artist you know artist started drawing they did not rely only on their hand they they are you know they try to put some curiosity that into that that you you there is no definitions of art you know you define your art that you you imagine that what is there so that is how now you know, i will understand uh, ravi and uh, now i will understand raja ravi varman's work better than before because i was always curious how did he start doing this definitive forms of gods you know because before right. him we were not really drawing gods as gods as human right. beings you know right 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 you are absolutely right now another thing that in artistic i told you na there are lot of uh, business in over here also in in benares yes. right but i i deliberately omitted this you know you see that i just put some touch over there because uh, there is a and i feel like knowledge. completing it that's why i'm saying you know you just leave uh, leave people like us to imagination and right. what can i do there <laughs> another another explanation is that your focal point right you you can always um, you know you concentrate in one place so this is the focal point of this right so if this space is also very busy then probably you will be distracted a lot right yes. so my focal I point is what i want see this is my artistic freedom that what i want to show that is also applicable in photography that everybody is seeing this yes. same thing but everybody is showing in in a different angle so that is my artistic freedom that i how i will want i want to show to my uh, spectators that uh, the angle the color everything 
I like to add another point. Okay, many people think it is a myth. Many people think that editing in photography is is a taboo. It's not. Editing is painting on the photography. If I want to make a sky bit orangey, because I want because that freedom you have in painting. Why you should not have that freedom in uh, in uh, painting uh, photography, right? So many people unrealistically think that editing is a bad thing in photography. No. editing is a must in photography because in in uh, in serious photography you call it raw file raw means is completely editable so you edit yes. it the way you It's want to file. show it to the world so editing is not at all a bad thing editing is a must and if you learn photography you'll see learning editing is much more difficult than the photography itself editing uh, mastering editing is much more difficult So this we is the photography. We go to your yeah. photographs. Yeah. Okay. I so this, this is again, again a very serene place. Uh, you know, I enjoyed this place, uh, Rishi Kola, uh, West Bengal. It's a different place. You know, I was there, uh, and uh, the and the dog came to me. This is again another uh, angle of Chilka. You know, the, the, see that ang angle. You know, busy people and uh, this. There's a All these birds are eyeing the fish. all these birds there is these people are catching fish right there so there is a symbiotic relationship between these birds and man right because they know that there is a the, the, if this man is more more generous they can throw some or they can snatch some so they always target this boat uh, boat so these are life around the water again a different emotions i'll go bit faster right now a different emotions again in chilka This is in Kajiranga. Uh, this is in Moradabad. You know when uh, you know this is in a mosque, a local mosque. When you know people are taking, you know, washing their hands in this water, and uh, there is a beautiful reflections in this water. So I I I took this photograph throughout. This GoPro. from the evolution, ah, huh? from the evolution time. Right. It's so, a GoPro. so in gopro is uh, you know water resistance so you can you know hop deep it in the water so the gopro is hop deep uh, in the water and uh, the rest is taken again different emotions you know which are you know permanent in my mind <laughs> this is a very funny uh, picture again in chilka so i don't know out of nowhere there is a dragon and there are some flying uh, you know dinosaurs uh, Over there, so it's is giving a completely. This is a concrete zero. dinosaur, if I understand. This is a concrete. Ah, uh, this is a concrete dinosaur, but this these are most probably eagles. Okay, so this uh, is giving a kind of sense of you know we are came to the Jurassic age or something like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, again, the lot of negative you space. Have you seen that? You know, there's a reflection, a minimalistic picture. Everything centers around water. Again. a flock of birds and you know the elephants this uh, is in uh, sikkim you know i forget the name of the place and there's a trick to do this kind of photography you know this is called long exposure photography and uh, if you uh, if you uh, put your camera in long exposure probably this is this is create a misty milky effect so this is a uh, it looks beautiful you make a you make a snow out of water <laughs> with the photography it's long exposure photo and there is a lot of tricks in photography so i'm trying to learn everything again the color in venaras this is in venaras and there's a beautiful silhouette of this man you know in in the in the in the sari this is in uh, uh, this is in uh, uh, kurk karnataka It's a morning, very early morning. I'm. I always travel, and if you are a photographer, you have to wake up very early because uh, this is called golden light. You know, if you remember that up to seven o'clock okay. uh, in the morning, and after three thirty four in Kolkata, probably after four thirty, the light uh, is beautiful. It's very good for not very harsh light. So photographers are all should be always uh, very early. this is in mumbai you know when uh, diamond ring so you you can sit down over there there are a lot of people you know sitting and watching the uh, beautiful uh, this is uh, sun uh, sunset you know at the background of 
buildings. This is again no need to say uh, Vinaras. Vinaras and uh, this people is chanting um, Surya Pranam. And look at this angle, you know, it's beautiful. It's the color and all. This is Auroville. Auroville, uh, yes. I got the you know reflection again. I'm 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 very obsessed with obsessed with reflections, right? This is in Lakshadweep again. Again, this is reflection. amazing, huh? Again, reflections. You know, this is in Assam. Uh, again, reflection. You know, I have a lot of pictures. You know, I like to take reflections. I so we should have titled your session as uh, "Shift the Reflection." <laughs> <laughs> Even in, uh, not only in the photography, in sketching also, I put uh, the background, you know, the whole background as the water. This is in Odisha, uh, Sat uh, Koshi, you know, I have visited a lot of places. If you see my Instagram account, I have visited, you know, I visit almost six to seven places in a year. I take seven to eight vacations. Sometimes it's topped up with my uh, work. Uh, very, you know, serene. Uh, there's a long snake, you know, which is swimming from here. A beautiful sight. This is my very own salt lake. That's it, you know. I think I should conclude. I can go on and on. Yeah. But uh, this is yeah, how. We, you know, we have how. to uh, discuss more aspects here. Thank you so much for showing us uh, your skills as well as sharing how to do these kind of artworks and what are the good ways to look at it, how to read it, how how to interpret it and all. Uh, just a, a couple of questions to you uh, before we uh, really ask others if they have questions. Uh, uh, just trying to understand because artwork is also a profession for some people, right? Uh, for you, it may not be the main uh, work, but still we would like to know, do you the, uh, do most of the artwork, uh, which are not for your passion, but uh, for your work, is it you do the artwork and then you auction it for uh, your clients or do you get the assignment and then you do the artwork? I'm talking about the ones which you do for professional work, right? Not one which you're doing for your passion. I accidentally came, um, came uh, into this pro uh, professions of selling art, right? You know, a lot of my okay. friends, okay. Uh, they are interested, they are buying my uh, art. and uh, It comes with your interior design projects then. Yes, yes, yes. You know, that is the integral part of, uh, uh, so a lot of my art, uh, you know, I'm selling nowadays. You know, I don't know whether you have uh, seen or not that I put a po uh, Facebook post that um, uh, by, not by design, by accident, I, I came into the professions of yes. selling art. Since it is clogged up with my interior clients, so it's much easier to sell art because uh, I, I yes. promote uh, promote interior designing with arts. Okay, so uh, and I'm getting a new kind of new lease of life when I'm drawing, you know, learning new skills because there's a plethora of opportunity in digital uh, art nowadays. So uh, yes, I mean, gone those days when artists are they used to struggle for selling. Nowadays, a lot of platforms are there thanks to social media and all. Um, if your art is good and interesting, people there is a market for it. Market for it. Uh, so yes, I to come to your answers. Uh, I do sell art, and I'm selling it. I'm selling it mostly to my IIT network friends, but I I'll go beyond it uh, in in future. Very, very important uh, point because uh, uh, being an architect, both of us, uh, we know that how useful it is to have this extra skill, you know, alongside our profession. This is definitely right. an added skill. And right. when you are practicing both uh, photography, uh, sketching, painting, and now you are also talking about doing digital arts, which will also open uh, the more more horizon towards working on it. Uh, I will wish that you do more water uh, arts also in future because you are, as you rightly mentioned, unintendedly also it is in your you know, life and it is in your passion. Uh, just to understand uh, beyond photography because you are doing more nature photography and all. When you are doing this kind of sketching and digital art and all, do you really uh, require any special ambience or environment to work on or it is usually artists and architects, it's like one fine day and one click and you want to do it today and you're just doing it or 
Uh, how is it with you particularly? I mean, it cannot be stereotyped for all artists, but how is it with Shiv? I mean, I mean, I mean, for photography, you need little bit of patience, right? You have to be at the right place at the right time. Um, uh, generally, uh, as a, I mean, I, I like to take two kind of photographs. One is landscape, another is wildlife. I am interested in these two. So wildlife is you just blink and it's gone. You have only one chance, right? Suppose yes. there's a okay you but uh, for landscape you'll get a retake chance of retake right suppose you can uh, take 100 like, pictures and you get one of it <laughs> right right so this even i mean uh, even in uh, interior photography is one of the toughest photography because you have to take different because in interior yes. you have to show the, you cannot modify it because if you have to show the right color and the exposure level should be good so you have to take five and or also six the scarcity of natural light huh so right right and if there is natural light, is good. So most of the AD and all these pictures you will see taken in natural light, not in night. Okay, most of the interior pictures are daylight. Okay, so that the color is a, and not only that, you know, you have to take four or five pictures in different exposure, and you have to something called bracket. You know, you have to bracket it. So interior photography is one of the toughest photography for me. Okay, I have not mastered okay. it. You know? But uh, on the contrary, I found uh, landscape photography is quite uh, handy. I'll not say easy, handy because even a phone nowadays they can take beautiful natural uh, the uh, natural uh, nature's photograph in right uh, light. Nowadays, a phone a camera is quite good. So, uh, so different, uh, you know, different. Uh, there is different gharana of uh, photography yes. and that different skills i mean uh, just uh, like in painting or sketching there are different garanas in uh, photography also there are different garanas right so uh, for uh, uh, portrait for wedding you know they, there are different for wedding you have to always alert right you cannot miss a thing and you have to take the angle very well because they should look good also there are some uh, illusions and all but i am interested in uh, uh, amazingly I mean, very uh, kind of paradoxically, I, I am not interested in uh, interior photography. There is a lot of hard work indeed. I am interested in wildlife photography and landscape photography. These two, very much. So uh, that is how, you know. Is it because uh, you are too much into interior, so you it's like gharki murgi, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, a, it's, it's difficult also, you know. It's a, there is a learning curve. It's difficult, you uh, rightly mentioned. It, I mean, uh, the, the kind of pictures they are taking. Probably I learned to uh, take uh, interior video. Uh, video. I, I bought some equipments, uh, not because out of passion, because when I'm outsourcing it to the professional, it costs a lot. So, uh, yes, so you will learn, have, have to, to learn. learn it. And it's uh, good. It's through. good you learn new things and, uh, you know, you and increase your skill sets, you know. Every good conversation has to be brought to an end sometime. And it's right. also time for us to also bring uh, the conversation towards the closure. Uh, unless a um, uh, few of our people who are here online uh, in the registration, if they would like to ask any question to you, otherwise uh, I will do the thank note. Do okay. join us next uh, Friday for our water uh, films. Um, I'll be call it water talkies. Any yeah, questions for Shiv? Uh, I think. Uh, okay. Okay. I that. think we will uh, say it um, uh, bye for today. And thank you so much, Shiv, for taking us uh, through your work. And also, bye. it is very good to see you uh, so motivated towards your work. We hope that you continue doing this good work. And at the same time, I also hope and wish that you really bring out these artwork with small narrations because uh, it will be good for us all and all for others who are really uh, working in these artworks, especially sure. with the water part of it, I'm interested that you sure. bring them with a small narration so that we can appreciate these artworks more. So that sure. even children can work on it more so that they see that there is a room utilize these tools or these skill sets to make it profession out of it, you know, that's important because everything eventually boils down to how you make use of it in your profession. So thank you so much, Shiv, and thanks everybody for joining. Uh, thanks, Mega, for uh, the starting up and also taking uh, the initial conversation. 
and we see each other soon on uh, next friday 2nd of september on water talkies and please take care of yourself and uh, see you again thanks